Installing and activating a Shield Megafi router in a vehicle is straightforward for those familiar with other aftermarket antenna connected systems. If you are planning a self installation and are not a professional, it is highly recommended that you seek guidance from someone with hands on experience with similar products. For help locating an expert installer, contact Nextivity Support at support at nextivityinc.com. This video provides an overview of the Megafi installation process for a vehicle. Additional resources and support are available through the Nextivity website. Let's get started. When you open the box, you will find six items. The Megafi mobile unit, an antenna, a DC power cable, an ethernet cable, a SIM tool, and a quick start guide. Nextivity does not provide screws or other hardware that may be needed to secure the device, as this varies widely depending on how and where in the vehicle the system is installed. To get your Shield Megafi up and running, you will need to follow these four basic steps. Mount the antenna on the roof. Install the Shield Megafi unit inside the vehicle. Connect the Megafi to the vehicle power and antenna leads. Log into the system for setup and configuration. Let's get started by mounting the antenna. First, select the location for the antenna. For best performance, it is highly recommended to locate the antenna at least 30 inches from all other antennas. Well within 15 feet of where you will mount the Megafi unit so the connection cable reaches. At least 12 inches from the edge of the roof. 20 inches or more from vehicle occupants. To mount the antenna, first drill a hole in the roof to run the cables through. Next, place the antenna on the roof and feed the cables through the hole. To mount the antenna, peel the backing to expose the adhesive and press the antenna firmly into place. Finally, go inside the car and use the mounting hardware to secure the base of the antenna. Next, you need to mount the Shield Megafi unit inside the vehicle. It is best to install in a dry area and it must be positioned within 15 feet of the antenna so the connector cables will reach. Place the unit on a flat surface with clearance for cable and power connections. Note, leave at least a two inch space open above the Megafi to ensure proper cooling. Secure the unit with four screws appropriate for the material the unit is being mounted on. Connect the antenna leads to the corresponding connectors on the Megafi as noted in the quick start guide. Take care when doing this, as connecting the antenna incorrectly may damage the antenna or the Megafi. Now it's time to connect vehicle power to the Megafi. Identify the four wires included in the Megafi power cable. Connect each wire to the corresponding location on the power management block in the vehicle. Once the antenna and power are connected, power up the vehicle. The LEDs will flash. The system may take a few minutes to boot up. During that time, the power LED should remain lit. When the unit is successfully connected, the internet LED will show a solid green light. Congratulations! The system is now installed in the vehicle and ready for setup. You'll need your computer for the next steps. First, you need a laptop connected to your Megafi. You can either use the Ethernet cable to plug into one of the LAN ports on the Megafi or connect via Wi-Fi using the SSID and password on the Megafi label. You'll also need the Quick Start Guide that came in the box. If you need a replacement, please visit the Nextivity website. To configure your router settings, open an internet browser and go to the address shown in your Quick Start Guide. Follow the steps to accept the end user agreement and set up your password. As the final step, enable cloud management for your Shield Megafi by registering your device in the Nextivity Mega Portal at mega.nextivityinc.com. Additional support is available through the Nextivity website at nextivityinc.com. Nextivity, smarter by design.